Today we are going to spend a few minutes describing Agilent's FieldFox RF Analyzer, the N9912A. Before we examine the instrument itself, let's take a look at the background of why we designed this instrument and what application it's been designed for. In the wireless industry, whether you're in the service provider community, operating standards such as WCDMA, GSM, CDMA, or if you're in the two-way radio industry, operating APCO 25, if you look at the maintenance of your system, there are two components to it. One is hardware quality, the other is signal quality. With respect to hardware, you have to deal with the base station itself, cables, antennas, duplexers, TMAs, and other hardware components. With respect to over-the-air signal quality, you often have to deal with interference. With interference, you want to know where it's coming from. Then you need to locate it and fix the problem so you can improve your quality of service. Interference-related issues continue to grow. The reason is that more and more radio systems are being deployed and that the transmitters are located much closer together. Also, more power is being loaded on the cable and antenna systems. So the probability of having interference issues increases. We've designed FieldFox to deal with both hardware and signal quality problems. The N9912A FieldFox RF analyzer is a combo box, six instruments in one a cable and antenna analyzer, spectrum analyzer, interference analyzer, power meter, network analyzer, and a vector voltmeter. Let's look at the cable and antenna analyzer. The cable and antenna analyzer is designed for line sweeping and making sure your base station hardware and feeder lines are in good condition. What is unique about FieldFox's cable and antenna analyzer is what we call quick cal and cal ready. Cal ready means that the instrument is ready for measurements. That is, no calibration is required when you power up the analyzer. On the screen, you can see the cal on symbol and the straight line at zero return loss. You don't need a calibration if you're going to measure a device right at the test port. You can change the frequency and the instrument is still calibrated. Nothing changes. So now you may ask what happens if I have a jumper cable connected to the end of the port. We connect one now. You can see that the return loss is not calibrated anymore because of the jumper cable. For this scenario, we offer Quick Cal, a calibration that is unique to Agilent, Agilent proprietary, and doesn't require a Cal kit. Using Quick Cal, we move the reference plane to the end of the jumper cable and can then easily make measurements. Another feature of the cable and antenna analyzer is the ability to see the distance to fault and return loss data simultaneously. This allows the operators to determine if the return loss is bad by looking at the top screen and then easily find the location of the fault using the lower screen. The user can also measure VSWR or insertion loss or cable loss. This summarizes the cable and antenna analyzer section. Next, let's look at the spectrum analyzer. Spectrum analysis is critical for users trying to locate interference. If you're in the cellular industry, one of the key features of FieldFox is radio standard selection and control. Let's say you are operating in the GSM 850 band. As soon as you choose GSM 850, we'll show you the entire uplink-downlink band. You can switch to channel mode and toggle uplink-downlink with a single key press. This makes it easy for the technicians in the field to set the channel. The second feature is channel power measurement, where you can look at channel power and use it to verify your transmitter power or to verify whether you have adjacent channel interference. You can also use the occupied bandwidth measurement to see what type of radio signal you're looking at. FieldFox also has tune and listen capability. Tune and listen is useful for monitoring analog signals if you want to determine the type of signal you're looking at. FieldFox has selections for AM, FM narrow, and FM wide. AM is for AM radio, 
FM narrow is for two-way radio or paging, and FM wide for broadcasting channels. FieldFox also has an interference analyzer, which provides spectrogram and waterfall display. For example, we are looking at a signal here. Spectrograms use color coding to represent the amplitude of the signal. The x-axis is frequency, y-axis is time, and the colors represent different amplitudes. So you can monitor the signal over time and capture intermittent signals. With a spectrogram, you can also view the signal in 3D mode. This is called the waterfall display. You can put a time marker in the spectrogram or waterfall and you can find the signal at a particular time. One of the key things in interference analysis is that you want to monitor the signal over a period of time and capture any intermittent signals. In order to do that, you can use the record playback feature. You can create a recording so all the data is recorded and then play it back later. So that summarizes the spectrum analyzer functions. Now let's look at the power meter. FieldFox supports all Agilent USB power sensors. You can plug in the USB power sensor to measure different power levels. Currently, Agilent USB power sensors go up to 24 gigahertz and can measure from minus 44 to plus 20 dBm. Another feature is the network analyzer. N9912A is a one-port vector, two-port scalar measurement. Here you can see the S11 of a bandpass filter. You can make an S11 measurement in various formats, VSWR, Phase, Smith, or Polar Chart. You can also make an S21 measurement. You can also change the bandwidth or the number of points to optimize your measurement. And the last mode is the vector voltmeter mode. Vector voltmeters are useful for phase matching of two devices. A common application is cable trimming. With cable trimming, you want to trim multiple cables to make sure they have the same electrical length. You take the shortest cable as the reference and zero it, then measure the second and third and make sure you cut the other cables to the same electrical length. This summarizes the network analyzer, power meter, and vector voltmeter modes. FieldFox supports LAN connections, so you can set your IP address and remotely control the box using Skippy. FieldFox also has two USB ports and an SD card slot. With FieldFox, you can easily change the battery in the field. The battery lasts about four hours. FieldFox's packaging is designed to be rugged, and the instrument is MILPRF Class II compliant. For more information on the FieldFox RF analyzer, visit the Agilent website at www.agilent.com/find/fieldfox.